This Flutter tutorial shows how to build voice and video calls into your app with Zigo Cloud. To embed call feature, we are going to integrate and customize Zigo Cloud pre-built UI Kit SDK into your app. Then users start voice, video, or text chat through Zigo Cloud real-time network. It's that simple. Now, we are in a Flutter environment. We start from zero to integrate Zigo Call Kit. Firstly, creating a new project using Flutter. Okay, the new project has been done. Let's see how to integrate the SDK. Firstly you add Zigo UI Kit pre-built call as dependencies. Run the following code in your project root directory. And then, now in your Dart code, import the pre-built call kit SDK. We are going to an important step, which is using the Zigo UI Kit pre-built call in your project. You also need to enter app ID and app sign, and I will show you how to find it in Zigo Cloud Admin Console. Here is the page of the console after you sign in. Create your own project. And then click the edit button. Okay. You can directly copy your app ID and app sign here. Now back to VS Code, we keep going on the call page. In our test program, you can use random strings as user ID and username. If you have your own user account system, you can use the real user ID and username. Users that join the call with the same call ID can talk to each other. You can customize the rules of call ID as you like, according to your business logic. Now, you can make a new call by navigating to this call page. But don't forget, you need to modify home page, which is automatically generated by Flutter firstly so that you can keep going on testing call page. Okay, here we are. For the second main step, we are going to help you configure your project for Android and iOS. Let's see how Android works. Firstly, if your project is created with Flutter version 2, you need to modify the compile SDK version. Open your file on the list. Android. App. Build Gradle. And enter 33. And secondly, you need to add app permissions. Continuously open the file. SRC. Main. Android manifest. And add the following code, just like this. Thirdly, to prevent obfuscation of the SDK public class names, you should do the following. In Android app folder, create a file named proguard-rules.pro. And then add the following content as shown. Back to build Gradle file, add the following config code to the release part. That is the part for Android. And we keep going on, adding iOS permissions. Open the iOS. Runner. Info plist. And add the following code to the dict part. Okay. Now you have finished all the steps. Let's see how it works. You can simply click the run. To run and test your app on your device. Voice and video calls now can be used in your app. And that is all for integrating call kit and build call feature in Flutter. Let's get started.